Oh, what's that, officer? Uh, yeah, I am carrying a handgun, but I have a concealed handgun license. How did you know that I was carrying a handgun? What do you mean by I'm printing? Huh. Sorry about that. Um, while I have you here, do you ever need any help, like, out in the field? Uh, the reason I ask, I'm a pretty good shot, and I can help you with gangbangers or terrorists or whatever. Can I audition for you? Watch this. Stop what you're doing! It's pretty good, right? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Thanks for being here. Today we're shooting at these body armor panels. These are from AR500Armor.com. They are level 3A. They're soft, so they're totally flexible. They're just cloth. It's pretty cool. And this one is one we've already shot at all these. There's some damage to them. This is the one with the least amount of damage. Just had a bullet going through the corner. I've hooked it up to this little stand here. There's nothing behind it, as you can see, except this water jug. What I want to see today is how many 9mm bullets out of this CZ Scorpion, which has, uh, I think, a little over a seven inch barrel. How many can this stop before it lets it through? Um, if you don't remember, level 3A armor can stop all pistol threats up to a 44 Magnum. So how many nine millimeters can it take? There's only one way to find out. First, we're shooting some Spear Lawman, nine millimeter, full metal jacket, 115 grain. These are full metal jacket. For those who don't know, hollow points are made to expand. Therefore, they don't penetrate as well. Full metal jackets, stay together and should have a better chance of getting through there. So kind of making a worst case scenario for this armor down here. And I won't be putting this thing to my shoulder. I'll be putting it on my cheek. Crap. Well, it looks like that didn't hold on very well. First shot here and here, those were both totally stopped. The third shot went right here and went through the front, that just that thin black coating, and then just pulled it all out and went around, straight around that armor right there into our jug. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to fire center here. And uh, I don't know if this is gonna hold out. It looks like it's already breaking here. Video might not work out. I thought I missed, but I hit right here and it did not go through. There's no penetration there. It just pulled it hard enough to rip all the screws out. Oh, it broke my two by two there. Let's try something else. Well, that obviously didn't work very well at all, but luckily Cooter is going to let me borrow his. He has a larger 3A panel. This is the same thing, level 3A body armor, um, but it's just a larger one. So he was all ready to trust his life um, to this panel, but I would never take a risk like that. So I'm going to hook it to this chair. Um, I was kind of trying to figure out how to do this. Should I put it on something hard like wood or should I put it with just air behind it? Um, I think I should put it on something that simulates uh, chest as much as possible. So I'm gonna put it on the back of this chair because it's cushioned, has cotton and also has springs in it to kind of give a little bit, but not give as much as if there was just nothing behind it to simulate as close to possible as what it's like to be on a chest. This is uh, as close as I can figure that it's kind of like hitting someone in the chest. Um, it gives a little bit, but it's not like a hard surface. I was worried if I put it on like a cinder block or on wood or something, those bullets would just hit and there'd be no give. So um, it might cut those little fibers and eventually weaken it sooner than if it was hitting a softer target like this. But this gives some resistance, a lot more than air, like if it was just hanging. So maybe close to the real thing, I don't really know. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push this chair around here to where it will be right in front of that steel target. This is a perfectly clean steel target, I just painted it. So we hopefully will hear as soon as the first bullet comes through, we'll hear that ding as it hits the steel target. Lawman 115 grain, full metal jackets, nine millimeter. Doesn't look like it's gonna stay on that duct tape very long. Oh, 
called that. Four hits here, nothing came through, just tore up the stickers. Here's the carrier with the panel in it, um, and it has holes in the front from a different video I made, no holes in the back. All right, I may have figured it out. Have it in the carrier here, have the neck going around the neck of that target, the waist going around this chair, looping all the way around, so hopefully that will keep it in one place. Back in action. I heard a ding there. Let's go check it out. First order of business. There's our hit. So we did have one come through. And let's take this thing off and check it out. Yep, we definitely had one come through. And those are all right here, one outlier down here, but they're all right there in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, nine millimeters, and one made it through, looks like. Just go ahead and open up a little further, see what this thing looks like. Here's the back of it, there's that one that went through. Here's where one was trying to go through. It stopped right against the back there. I can feel that little bullet in there. I miscounted, I'll show you. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes there. Then there is 10, 11, 12, 13. And the one I didn't see, I think, uh, was this one. Either way, there's, there's 14 holes. Um, and so it stopped 13 of those bullets and it let one through, the 14th one went through. This, this uh, panel is just ready to stop one nine millimeter bullet. So I just kind of wanted to push it to its limits and see how many it can stop. And 13 is a pretty good number, I assume. I chose a nine millimeter because it's going the fastest between nine, 40, and 45. So theoretically, 45 and a 40, it would stop a lot more of those because as a lot of you know, speed is how you beat body armor. And so these fast little bullets have a better chance of getting through than a slower, bigger 40 or 45. Um, I did find this bullet, it was easy to get out of there. And uh, this is what I love about these soft armor videos is looking at the bullets and seeing how much it mangles them for hitting, I mean, this is a hard metal bullet hitting nothing but cloth fibers and it totally flattens it out like that. It's pretty neat. I have a whole nother magazine loaded up in this gun and uh, I hate for that ammo to just go to waste in there. So better go ahead and shoot it while we're here. Cool thing about this gun is it's kind of like an MP5. You can lock the bolts back like that. So when you put a mag in, all you have to do is tap it and it's ready to go. Cooter, don't move. I like this gun. So this is a pistol for those who don't know. Um, what makes it a pistol is this is not actually a buttstock, even though it looks like one. This is an arm brace. You're supposed to put your arm through there to help you shoot it one-handed. And it's kind of uh, it's kind of a trick to get around the SBR law, but the ATF caught on to it and said, you can't shoulder this. So for me to shoulder this gun on a video, I would have to file um, tax papers and everything to make this an SBR, which I'm thinking about doing just because I can buy the cool so stock that this, the CZ company makes that folds around on the side. And uh, that would be a really cool little weapon. So I think I might have to do that because I'm really liking this CZ pistol. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch and Creepy Cooter and I will see you next time. Contact! <laughs> what about the quad? Don't move, don't move. Bobby!